So a solution to a linear inequality is any ordered pair that makes the inequality true. If we're comparing a system of inequalities, then the solution has to be true for both inequalities, not just one. A system of linear equality is an intersection of two or more half planes, which is why we shade them and make it look pretty. A vertex is where two or more lines intersect. It's just the point of intersection. Now this would be a way that we check, even though technically sometimes we have to check a lot of different areas on a graph. But this would just be checking to see if it's a solution. For one equation like this, it would just be checking to see which side of the line we're going to shade. If this gives us a true statement, then we would sh uh, shade, shade? shade the side of the line that this point is on. If it were false, we would shade the other side of the line. So to, to determine if this is a solution, let's rewrite the equation, five, uh, inequality rather, 5y minus 8x greater than 18, but we're going to replace the y value with the y value we have, which is negative 3. And we'll replace the x with the x value we have, which is negative 4. And again, this is just seeing. It's a question mark to see if this is true or not. So 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Minus 8 times negative 4 is negative 32. And this should be greater than or equal to 18. So, we're going to change this minus a negative just to a plus. So, negative 15 plus 32, I get 17. 17 is greater than or equal to 18. This is false. So, the answer to this specific problem is no, it is not a solution. Now, again, if this was a graph, we would have shaded the other side of that line. 